Hi, Saggy. What's going on with you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roads, guys. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay? So Sagittarius, let's see what's back of life with you guys. I love my Saggies. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Let's see. I'm going to pull from the Intuit Angel Oracle. And let's see what angels and what's going on with you guys. What angels are guiding you on your path at this time. I just did Virgo's reading, y'all. That reading pissed me off. <laughs> that reading really made me mad. But anywho, let's see what's going on with you, Saggy. What's going on for Sagittarius? If you're dealing with the Virgo, I guess go watch that if you have Virgo in your chart. <laughs> 1233 on the clock. You guys can be seeing those synchronicities. Okay, so we have number 18. This is Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. So we have Azrael, Angel of Everlasting Life. Who had this? Aquarius and Gemini. Okay, so it says age, transition, acceptance, crossing over, comforter, transforms emotional pain. During transition, separation, and loss, I give comfort and support. I also help you contact loved ones who pass. Okay, so you might need the crystal calcite. It says a year or more for timing. That's for somebody. Okay, not for everybody. Right, and then it says no. So no. Okay, I don't know what no means for you. Somebody here could be passing over. I'm sorry to hear that. Or your passed over loved ones could be trying to reach you here. Or something in your life is just over, right? It's over. Um, you're needing maybe emotional comfort or support as something here ends in your life. Okay, it could be a hard ending. But let's see. What else for Sag? So we have number 17. Sagittarius, that's you, Raul or Ragul. I think it's Raul. I think the G is silent, but keeper of the Akashic Records, balance, peace, meditate according to plan, divine order, sacred knowledge, and research. I bring balance, order, and justice to those who act and, de and who desire to follow God's plan for their lives. So you might need the crystal aqua aquamarine. Um, something could be happening within two weeks, and then it says get more information. For some of you, what I'm getting, yeah, we have 17, 18. So something could be building up here. But I'm getting, um, for some of you, somebody has passed over in your life, but they, they passed over. There's, there's more to this person's passing. How they passed away. Okay, for some of you, I don't know if somebody was murdered. Okay, it's very sensitive. But I'm getting, somebody could have been could have died in a different way than that you know about maybe you have false information about how somebody passed over they could have passed over from something that happened to them spiritually okay somebody was doing something to them spiritually possibly okay uh huh um Yeah, I'm getting that energy strongly. Somebody did something maybe to somebody and it caused them to pass it's caused them to pass away. That's crazy. Um, or so and some of you guys could be finding out through your spirit guides, your angels, or maybe that ancestor that did pass away is telling you how they how they really passed away versus what, what what you see down here or what people are telling you or what your family this this guy has something to do with your family here. There's something you're learning about someone's passing or something like that could be happening for somebody. And that's not going to be for everybody. It's like you have false details about how somebody passed away. Child, this reading will make me mad too. I don't like that shit. Okay, so let me get three good cards here for Sagittarius. Three good cards here for Sagittarius. For some of you guys, you have inheritance. It could be some inheritance money that's trying to come through for you because of this passing. But your family, they could have been in on something. They know about something that you don't know about, about this person's passing. Yeah, debt, debt, third party influence. Yeah, some of y'all could be in debt for no fucking reason because maybe somebody left you some money, but you haven't gotten it because your family has set this shit up. That, that's some bullshit. I'm just going to say it like that. That's that's crazy. What well, um that could be the story for somebody, but child, give me three cards here for Sag. 
That's some na that's some crazy shit for real. If that is the case, let me know in the comments. Bottom of the deck is spirit, guys. This came out for who did this come out for? Taurus and Cancer. And somebody else, I think. Rebirth. Spirit guys and rebirth. Some of you guys, somebody could have had a near-death experience. Okay, some of you guys could have died for a minute, like you actually died or and then you came back to life is what I'm getting. Or or like I say, you have a specific ancestor around you that could be one of your spirit guides or something like that. What else for Sagittarius? But your spirit guides could be trying to tell you something. All right, about someone. Okay, Enigma. So that talks about um, whatever is not seen or whatever is hidden is coming out with Enigma in reverse. All right, what, what else? You could be knowing or understanding now that there's a specific person that's passed away that's been trying to reach you. Maybe you didn't know who it was or maybe you didn't know what, you know. Okay, yeah, confusion. Hmm, bottom of the deck is pilgrimage. You are being called to a higher purpose. It is time for the next step on your spiritual path. Signs, messages, and synchronicity will show you the way. Some of you guys are being initiated right now in the spiritual realm. You're being initiated because you passed a test or you're, I don't know, you're just leveling up in your spiritual endeavors, your journey. Okay, it's like uh, you have the keys to now. Okay, yes, the Akashic Records. Some of you guys are awakening big time, right? And you're being initiated. It's like you're seeing things you've never seen before. Okay, but I feel like you have a more understanding of who you are and what's going on now with you. Wow. You're getting in tune with the ancestor or getting in touch with an ancestor that uh, you're like, what the fuck? Some of y'all are saying shit. You're seeing your spirit guides or something like that. It's something deep going on with you. Yeah, look at that. Ass. Look at your spirit guides. <laughs> it's the Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Pentacles. That's your spirit team. That's the universe. But let's see. Wow. For Saji, let's see. Um, so we have spare guys. It says that your spare guys have heard you and and your prayers. Look for specific signs, omens, messages, and dreams from your guides. New guys are coming. Veteran guys are helping you grow and develop your ability to hear them. Yes. You are safe. You have helped through your lessons, losses, and important milestones of your life path. Okay, yeah. So you pray for something. You pray maybe for more clarity or to make something clear to you. And honey, it, it's coming. It's here. Okay, you want a clarity about something. Yeah, five of wands, a ten of swords, seven of cups. That's the confusion. Five of swords. Yeah, somebody was on some crazy shit. Somebody did something crazy to maybe somebody that you love or care about. Or, um... <sighs> wow ace of pentacles yeah some of you guys are about to get some money yeah king of pentacles right here justice yeah something going on in court for some of you guys about some inheritance money you're supposed to be rich you're supposed to have money but i feel like somebody did something to your fucking money could be dealing with the libra or strong taurus virgo capricorn is here I'm getting Virgo. Maybe go watch Virgo's reading because that reading sure did piss me the fuck off. This bitch is broke. They nasty as fuck. I don't like their ass. <laughs> I don't like them. Whoever that was in Virgo's reading could be significant to this one. But with the Ace of Pentacles coming out, I'm going to leave it here. There's a new beginning. Okay. That one is a pop out. It, what's uh what's Spirit God's spirit for um Sagittarius? So there's new money coming in. There's a, a new car, new home, or something that's been passed down to you, maybe through your ancestral bloodline or something like that. It's something new coming in. It's something solid is here to stay. All right, with the Ace of Pentacles. What spirit guys with the Ace of Pentacles here? Hmm. The judgment. Okay, it could be something coming in from your past or something from the past that's significant to this. Something... Uh, some of you guys have passed a karmic lesson, so you're being, it's like you're graduating from something spiritually. All right, you guys could be ascending. You're going through an ascension process. Um, 
The judgment is a karmic lesson. It's an awakening. It's definitely an awakening. Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. That's you with the judgment. Um, yeah, you're making a decision about something too. Okay, what's spirit, guys, with the Ace of Pentacles and the judgment? Some of you guys are just learning how to forgive your past, okay? So that way you can move forward. So I'm getting the, uh, I mean, Page of Swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There could be somebody watching you. There's somebody wants, that's wanting to come in to ask you for your forgiveness. I feel like somebody has been through something very, very tough, okay? Somebody has needed their space in something. All right, um, Page of Swords. There is somebody watching you that wants to speak up. I feel like something has been delayed, but I feel like there's somebody that's strategizing on how to say something to you and offer you this, this offer. This is coming from the divine. Or for some of you guys, this is this research that you've been doing. You're looking into something. So now Spirit wants to ask you if you're going to forgive something or forgive somebody for doing something to you, right? It's like you found something or you're very curious about something or someone or whatever the situation is that I that I've been feeling since I started your reading okay it's something here let's see what's this ace of pentacles um yeah the seven of cups so options some of y'all have options in your finances coming through Okay, more doors and opportunities are opening up for you with your money. Or now that you have this money, more doors are going to be opened here. Some of you guys have been dreaming about something, fantasizing about something, or asking, like, like I said, asking God for something, praying about something. Okay, and it's coming to pass. You could be dreaming. Yeah, it's like you're getting messages through your dreams about something or something like that. What's the Seven of Cups? Let's see. The chariot, yeah. Cancer energy. So this is overcoming an obstacle. Overcoming an obstacle. Some of you guys could be confused about what car you want. You could be looking for a car or a place, all right, or something like that. But the chariot talks about moving forward. This could be somebody coming towards you or you're just moving away from a situation or somebody or something, right? But this is this is a definitely ambition, is drive, is determination to do something. Okay, I feel like you could, it's like, damn, I have so many options available to me. I can kind of like pick whichever, but I feel like you're trying to pick the best one for you. All right. What's, what's, um, <clears throat> what's the judgment? I feel like you made a decision to do something where you've been confused before. I feel like now you know what something is, so you're moving forward with it. What's the judgment? Okay, um... The High Priestess, the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. The Star, Aquarius Energy. The Magician, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody is working hard for something. Nine of Cups with the High Priestess. Pisces Energy here. Yeah, there's wish fulfillment coming in. I feel like you can feel it. There's something you can feel that's approaching or coming through. A wish of yours is about to be granted. All right, uh, I feel like you're going to be very happy or very content. Or it's like it's giving me too. like you feel something more is coming because you could be in this nine of cups energy where, you know, something is OK, it's cool, it's good or you're being fulfilled in certain ways. But it's not that it thing. You feel what I'm saying? You feel like something could be missing. And that's the full ten of cups. That's the nine of cups here. So you could be missing the ten of cups. Right. I feel like you guys feel good or whole within yourself. Right. But there's something mis uh, mysterious about an extra cup. That's what I'm getting. All right, there's a lot of fertility here too. So something you could be birthing, something new or something something definitely new is coming in. It could be from your past for some of you. Or you're starting to learn how to just accept things that happened in the past and move forward, right? But your intuition is telling you something. Something is coming in. Okay, you know it too. So you're a psychic, so you can feel it. What's, what's the high priestess right here? It's like um, you're receiving downloads. What's the high priestess? Some of you guys are definitely psychics or mediums, or you do you do divination work. Yeah, four of wands, child. <clears throat> it could be about your twin flame or something about your twin flame journey could be significant. So I feel like you're making a choice to choose someone or to choose. There's something that you're choosing. Okay, now that you've made up your mind, it's coming in. Because maybe at first you were confused. You were like, what the fuck? Some of y'all could even be moving on from something new. Because it just, it doesn't feel right or it just, I don't know, it wasn't for you, right? 
okay and now it's like you're 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 going back on something or you're thinking about something from the past but uh four of wands is a celebration some of y'all could be getting married or proposed to or there's something that's going to lead into a marriage but there's something that's going to be celebratory a reunion of some sort could be happening excuse me uh this is this is you. I feel like you being really proud of your achievements. Your spirit guides and your angels are really congratulating you on something. You, you've you've done a lot of work here. So now there's congratulations in order for you here. Yeah, there's like an event coming up, or for some of you, there's an event where there's gonna be a lot of drinks, a lot of happy times. All right, but I'm just getting there, there's something here specifically about this four of wands and this there's something you feel that's coming. Okay, it's different for everybody. What's the what's the page of want uh swords? What's the page of swords? Ace of one. Yeah, I feel like yeah. You're looking into something. I feel like you're losing interest in it. It's like something new that you thought was uh something that you would like, but it's not. It's like you're losing interest and now you could be trying to like talk your way out of it. It's like you don't want to be there. Okay, um, there could be delays. Yeah, something is hella delayed. Page of Swords with the Ace of Wands in reverse. There could be travel plans that's been delayed because there's fighting and shit going on. Okay, somewhere with somebody or this is you. But I'm getting... Somebody is bored where they're at. I feel like you're bored. You're, that's why I say that you feel okay, but you don't feel really, really good. It's like you're missing... It could be that you're lacking passion here. You're lacking something somewhere, right? <clears throat> but the ace of wands is something being delayed because there's fighting and shit going on or somebody's in competition with you or trying to stop somebody from saying something to you there it's like somebody's mad all right but the ace of wands definitely talks about um a lack of passion a lack of creative a lack of inspiration somebody just feels lack somewhere they feel like something is missing and i feel like it's a you or or this could be about a job you're trying to leave or something like that I feel like, yeah, somebody's just losing interest in whatever this is. And maybe it's just, for some of you, it's just sex here. You don't want just sex. You want something more solid and stable. So you're moving away from it. I feel like somebody's trying to delay your movements. They don't want you to move away. Somebody doesn't. They're watching you. They're trying to figure out what the hell you're doing. So that way they can figure out how to bring you back in. It's like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm moving on. Sorry. So um, what's this uh, five of wands? Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're doing something that's out of the ordinary. You're breaking a tradition, okay? You're breaking a tradition. You're breaking a negative pattern that's could be on repeat, okay? In, in a family dynamic or in a... You could be just breaking a contract as well. It could be getting a divorce. Somebody could be going through a divorce or a breakup of something. That could have been long-term, but I feel like somebody's whole belief systems are changing. So they're kind of like... um The Hierophant can talk about... <clears throat> doing something that's going to bring about some controversy okay so i feel like you're rebelling against tradition you're breaking an old pattern an old belief system that somebody doesn't like they don't like it and that's fine bitch okay this ain't your life this is my fucking life i'm gonna do what the fuck i need to do let me do it why do you keep trying to hold on to me i feel like somebody's doing that shit yeah Yeah, somebody is bored with this same old shit. It's something that's just over and over again. It's just boring. Somebody's just tired of that shit. Somebody's lacking lacking something in their life. And, uh, you know, it's, I feel like it's you. It's your ass, Sagittarius. <laughs> it's you. So let's see. We have Enigma it came out in reverse. Mystery is present. Information and signs are coming in code. This is also an omen about yourself or people in your sphere who are being secretive, hard to read, or cryptic. Some things just aren't ready to be revealed. You are in pursuit of knowledge that must be earned, or people are keeping things from you. Explore more. Well, that shit came out in reverse, so something here, you've earned your stripes, you've earned this, whatever this knowledge is, because you've passed the test here. That could have been very spiritual, okay? It's like something, um, I don't know. Yeah, you see how the hyphen is in reverse with the high priestess upright. This is where somebody belongs with you in your in your in your life. Okay, the hyphen in reverse. Somebody had to break tradition so that way they can be a leader. Okay, they can finally be your match, your counterpart. Okay. Yeah. 
Somebody is meant to step out of the box, step out of their comfort zone, do things differently. Somebody is meant to break traditions, break, you know, step out of, you know, doing everything the ordinary. Somebody's meant to be an original. They're not meant to, to follow societal norms. Okay, that's what this big ass fight is about. What's uh, Enigma in reverse, Spirit for Sagittarius? So something is not a mystery anymore. Yeah, that's why there's a breakup. Somebody can have a Libra moon or Libra Saturn. But that's why there, there's a there's a breakup here. Yeah. The devil, the ace of pentacles, the ten of cups. Yeah, there, there's been a breakup, okay, because something is not mysterious anymore. It's not a it's not a mystery. I feel like you know what it is. You know the reason why something is happening now. You know, you you, you know what the reason is. What's Enigma with the three of swords? Somebody here is upset about something. Yeah, four of cups in reverse. So that talks about um you might have a cancer moon that talks about things that were stagnant it's picking up now i feel like you're seizing an opportunity or somebody is somebody's not missing any more opportunities so something has to end there needs to be a sacrifice and i feel like you you're doing you're making the sacrifice okay or or somebody is what's the enigma in reverse for sagittarius the three of swords and the four of cups in reverse Okay, the strength card in reverse. Leo energy. So the strength card in reverse talks about vulnerability. Somebody could be opening up to you. I feel like, yeah, something has been unlocked. Somebody's heart chakra has been healed too. I feel like now that they've went through some healing, they've passed the test. Because I feel like this three of swords was somebody in the past. With this four of cups in reverse, I feel like now something is unlocked. And it's their vulnerability with the strength card in reverse. Yeah, somebody's about to speak some truth to you here with this Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. They're going to take a risk. I see Aquarius here strong. Aquarius coming out in everybody's damn reading. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is also, this also could talk about feeling inadequate, not feeling good enough. I feel like somebody is done with that shit, though. They're done with that. They, there could still be feelings of, like, lingering there. They could still feel like they have, somebody feels like they don't have the courage to do something. But let's see. What's this three of swords right here for Sagittarius? Okay, yeah, six of swords. Yeah, moving away from the heartbreak, the hurt, the past, whatever the bullshit is. Somebody could be breaking up with somebody. <clears throat> somebody could have a uh, uh, Aquarius Mercury. All right, yeah, it's like uh, somebody is definitely moving or walking away from something, being guided away from this being guided away so so yeah there's progress with healing being taken place somebody is healing their heart their their, their emotional pain the trauma the wounds okay it's, somebody is slowly progressing but it's, it's working though it's healing so it's all that matters somebody has reached a point in their desk in their healing journey where now they can kind of like open up okay i'm ready to talk about something that's what i, what I feel like this is Okay, because I mean, healing is going to be forever, especially if you if somebody has lost someone here, that's pain is still going to be there. All right. It's never going to go anywhere. But as long as somebody is working through it and can function in life and meet different people and da, 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 I feel like it's good. I'm also getting an energy of somebody scared to lose someone because they've been abandoned. And I feel like that abandonment comes from them. Their either father or mother passing away or somebody that they truly loved have, has passed away or somebody that they truly, truly love. They had to leave behind. Okay, so that could be why if somebody has abandoned you or made you feel neglected, it's because they've been feeling that way about themselves. You know, that's saying hurt people hurt people. I mean, it's kind of a crazy saying to me, but it's true in these instances. I feel like these instances make more sense. I feel like grown ass people that are out here betraying other people or hurting other people, right? That that know that they're doing this to other people and they're hurt. <sighs> but they're doing that shit on purpose i feel like there's no excuse there you need to kind of like work on your shit stop hurting other people and you you know that you're hurting other people right i feel like that's what's lame about that saying to me because it's like if you know that you're really hurting somebody on purpose because you're hurt that's just you playing victim it's time for you to grow up 24 24 on the timer okay i feel like it's different when somebody here truly loves someone and they passed away and they died that shit is very very traumatic it's very hurtful and people can do things by mistake okay people can hurt you by mistake and i feel like this this what i'm getting from this is somebody is scared to lose you somebody is scared of you passing away or something that they really truly love being taken away right i'm just getting that energy 
Okay, so that, that could be the reason why somebody is like how they are or delaying something or whatever, or chose somebody else over you. No justification. I'm not trying to justify nobody's actions, but I'm just saying, okay? It makes you maybe, you know, I'm just here to help you maybe look at things from a different perspective, okay? Because you're hurt too in the situation, so that needs to be taken accounted for anyways, right? But I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, Sagittarius. So anyway, um... Yeah, you guys to be saying 777. So what's the four of cups in reverse? Yeah, well, the fortune, something is moving now. There's something that's is good is coming from whatever this is. You could have a, a, a Libra Jupiter. Somebody could be a Taurus here. I'm seeing uh, a, somebody could be on the Virgo Leo cusp. Okay. But I, I'm just getting, uh, this is you, Sag, with this Jupiter energy. The wheel is turning. Something is turning in your favor. Whatever was stagnant and stuck is moving forward. All right. There's good luck, good fortune, blessings coming through with whatever the situation is. Okay. What's the strength card in reverse? There's some shady events that could be happening. Some of you guys could be moving or traveling. All right. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody ready to put that work in. Yeah. This is somebody ready to be open with you. You've unlocked something or you help somebody unlock something within themselves. But now this person is in tune with themselves here. And so now they can give you what you deserve is what I'm getting. This is so beautiful. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so nice. And it's very deep. You know, I'm a sucker for deep shit. I love a deep reading. I do. The Empress, the Moon. What's the Strength card in reverse with the Three of Pentacles? Um, <clears throat> The Queen of Cups. Yeah. A Heart Chakra Awakening and uh, ready to open or reveal something about the, their feelings. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, the Empress, the King of Wands, the Six of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, you're somebody's wish fulfillment. I feel like they've been running away from it, really, to be honest. They've really been running away because they don't want to be hurt. <clears throat> and this person has a lot of traumatic things that have happened to them, possibly. And everybody does, no excuse. But only, new, only you know what's going on in your situation. Okay, period. And now they're being called to go on a, a shamanic journey here they're being called to go on a spiritual path yeah spirit is inviting you to make a journey to a sacred place of homecoming somebody's coming back home it's with you okay this is where the home lies this is where this person's heart lies this is so sweet i cannot mm -hmm. yeah this is an omen that you or someone around you is going through an incredible transformation regarding core beliefs yeah that's why this hierophant is in reverse because they're going against the norm somebody that's not where they belong just period just period yeah so definitely the door has opened to somebody's psychic they're they're intuitive uh whether it's a man or woman doesn't matter somebody is definitely psychic they're realizing that they're very intuitive okay i'm definitely getting um emotional maturity here yeah most definitely yeah with the three of pentacles and the queen of cups somebody has the has the ability now to work with you nothing is going to be perfect i don't feel like but it's definitely going to be worth a shot okay is what i'm getting i'm definitely getting that three of pentacles talks about an equal partnership i'm getting with that it's a contract here it's a contract <clears throat> a partnership team team efforts being a team player hard work yeah something is you know it's not going to be easy because somebody is hurt from something and but i feel like they're they've they've grown enough because it's now it's time for you and this person to work together is what i'm getting now is a good time and, and then and, and and now you know somebody is going to put in the work the effort they're going to make the effort that's what's most important here okay so beautiful that's that's so nice i, I don't know you know <laughs> uh, i'm just yeah four wands again <clears throat> ten of swords yeah somebody doesn't fit in with somebody anymore i feel like they're, they're somebody's coming towards their soul tribe you're a part of it in a very specific and, and important way okay so we have confusion confusion comes when someone or something is inauthentic follow only the path you know is right for you confusion comes when the heart is in conflict with the head pause if you can't decide ask for clarity Take time to make the right decision. Go within. Remove low vibe influences around you. Don't listen to fear or pessimism. So somebody's having a head over heart. They're, they're having a head and heart battle. Okay, that's what I'm getting. That's why they're confused. Because <laughs> it's like now that they're, they're, they're at their most vulnerable moment, whoever this is, you or somebody else, right? <clears throat> Somebody could be wondering if you still care about them, if you still feel anything for them too. 
Oh, sad. What's confusion <laughs> for Sagittarius? The hermit in reverse. Yeah, it's because their, their paranoia is taking over. Somebody wants to come out of hermit mode. It could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Yeah, it's it's like a that's paranoia. That's that's feeling isolated or like really stuck in fear. What's what's confusion with the hermit in reverse? Is they're letting fear take over? That's the ego. So Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Virgo upright, the hermit upright. Okay, shit, the hermit upright, eight of pentacles, the chariot. <laughs> so who's confused? Whoever's confused is not you or your person. It's a third party that's confused. They're heartbroken. They're mad. Yeah, that's why this fighting is here. This bitch is mad. Who did I get this for? This came out in uh, Taurus's reading. You can have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart. Strong Virgo, Taurus here. Okay, maybe Cancer and <laughs> Leo as well. But um, yeah, so, so let's see. What's confusion with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Hermit in reverse? Okay, the lovers, Gemini energy. <laughs> you could feel confused too, Sagittarius. I feel like you, you could feel a bit ungrounded. That's what I got for Taurus too. Somebody just feels ungrounded or they just feel very off balance right now. It's because something divine, something in the ethers is happening with you, between you and somebody possibly. I feel like a bridge is being put, something is being put back together. Yeah, you and somebody have been in separation for a while and you guys are meeting now. There's like a reunion or something that could be happening. Okay. Yeah. That That's okay. So, so let's see real quick. Who's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse right here? I feel like there is a there is a three people here. What's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, that's the culprit. Thank you, Spirit, for the clarity because I just knew something was here. It just had to be right. You can't. I mean, you can't get the good without the bad. <laughs> okay, but okay. So there's somebody here that I feel like is bitter. They're confused. <laughs> they're confused as to why. Whatever they're doing, the jealousy or the hatred or the wickedness, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Empress in reverse is a false twin, a false person, a karmic. They're confused as to why whatever they try to do to break you two apart is not working, bitch, because it's not meant to work that way. That's why. So ain't no point in you being confused. Ain't no confusion. Or why the fuck they've been trying to block somebody off from their spiritual insights or intuition. Why that's not working. <laughs> It's, it's, what's, what's, uh, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with this Empress in reverse? Okay, King of Wands. There could be a lot of people that's fucking confused. Oh, well, bitch. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Empress in reverse, and the King of Wands? Nine of Swords, yeah. Okay, a lot of conf a lot of confusion. Yeah, a lot of fucking um Yeah, something is being made manifest. Okay, something is manifesting with you and somebody. This um this king of wands here could be trying to make a decision to walk away from these people or these, this loser asshole that they've been dealing with or something like that, their mama, their baby mama or whoever. Okay, and um they're nervous about it because this this bitch here likes to instill fear in this person. I told you somebody plays on someone's weaknesses. They play on people's emotions and their feelings and their fucking mental. Okay, is what I'm getting with this. Somebody's trying to keep someone stuck in fear and keep someone in their head. That's what this is. Well, who's this Queen of Pentacles in Reverse Spirit specifically? Who's the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Who's this Queen of Pentacles in Reverse with this Eight of Pentacles Spirit? Please make it clear. The Six of Cups. Okay, somebody from someone's past. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords. Somebody's a liar. Somebody's trying to confuse this person. Somebody's trying to confuse this person about coming towards you because they know once they come towards you this time, bitch, it ain't no more separation. That's why. That's why. So now it's up to this person. It's up to your masculine. If this is your masculine, to really follow their heart, go towards what they're passionate about. And I feel like this is the last time after this last time that they, they got back with this person or whatever the fuck, they're saying that that's not where their passion lies. It's somewhere else. 
they're not connected there with this person. That's why they're losing interest. It's like something is falling away. They're not happy. Somebody's not happy somewhere. Yeah. For some of you, you're confused, right? You're confused. Because I feel like you feel energy here. You feel other people's energy, right? You're a psychic, so I know you feel other people's. But you're ungrounded. You could just be focusing on your work, but you still feel a sense of ungroundedness. Okay? And it's because there's something from your past that could be coming in. The 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 damn um, Six of Cups could talk about soulmate reconciliation energy. Okay, so that could be what's being worked out. It's, it's in it's in motion with the Eight of Pentacles. It's being worked on, or th this is something that you're mastering. It's like you're mastering something within yourself, or this is what this person is. So you're upgrading, you're leveling up, and I feel like it's because of this other person. If this is your twin, if they're leveling up, I feel like you do too. So you or you can feel this person's um ascension process, their awakening process happening. Okay, and that's because that's your twin. Like you feel what they feel, really. They feel what you feel. So they feel, or you could be feeling the level up within them, which is gonna bring you guys closer to union. Okay, that could be what's going on here. But I'm getting there's a strong, there's a bitter energy from someone's past. They could have kids with this person. They could be trying to manipulate this person's energy or make them feel a certain type of way about you or confused. I feel like that shit is so old. Like, that shit is so... I feel like somebody sees who someone is already. So, bitch, why are you still trying to confuse somebody? They're delusional. They're delusional. Whoever the fuck that is from someone's past. Yeah, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, and the damn Nine of Swords. They've just been mad because they've been cut off. Somebody could have a Gemini, Mars, Aquarius, Venus. Yeah, somebody is mad. They're trying to win something at all costs. So, they could be doing some type of work here. Queen of Pentacles is known for doing spell work. This person is insecure as fuck. They're codependent and they need money. Okay, somebody here is doing work. They're focused on trying to fucking ruin something. I'm so sick of that shit coming out in these readings, bro. That shit is just ridiculous. These insecure ass hoes, man. What's the lovers? What's the lovers? Yeah, five of cups. Trying to cause a fucking missed opportunity. Yeah, seven of cups, twin flame. Somebody trying to confuse you about the person you're supposed to be with. Period. Somebody you're supposed to be reconciling with. Just period. Y'all can take that and do what you want with it. That's just what I believe. So, and it's obviously it's supposed to be because it's here. Some of you guys could be confused about who your twin flame is, right? It's like, it, because this person has been separated from you for a while or you thought that you guys were not getting back together. There's a beautiful new beginning happening with this person. Yeah, the tower, the, the world, and the damn emperor. Yeah, it's like, what's what's the lovers with the five of cups? I feel like you miss somebody or they miss you. There's an energy of longing for one another. Yeah, somebody can have an Aries, Mars, two of wands. Yeah, so planning, strategizing. Yeah, ace of cups. Somebody's in love with you. Yeah, somebody here, you you could be grieving a connection here, Sagittarius. So this is this person. They're grieving something. You know, and that's just supposed that's supposed to happen. I mean, I would want you to grieve something before you bring your ass over here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm just getting like a pass. I feel like somebody is grieving you too. So they're trying to plan they're planning on trying to get you back. Okay. They're trying to figure out what to do, how to how to move forward for this partnership. What's this uh five of cups about, Spirit? For Sag. Okay, you had a death card. Yeah, something's ending, something's transforming. There's a purging of feelings, emotions. I just feel like, you know. There's an ending and it's for good this time. It ain't no going back and forth or trying to work on nothing. It's over. All right. And I feel like it's for the best. Okay. But I'm definitely getting a transformation, a purging of feelings, emotions. All right. It's, yeah. Some of y'all are confused about if this is over or not. Or this is this person. What's this two of wands? Okay. Ace of swords in reverse. The world, yeah, something is close to regard. I feel like it's this karmic energy, this other lover here. This person is very argumentative. Yeah, they're very argumentative. I feel like, too, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, this person is lying to you about something. So that this is why they're at a crossroads. They know that they're going to have to speak up and say something to you here. And they're nervous about the outcome. They don't know if you're going to accept them or not. Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Leap for Gemini energy. I feel like too, though, 
Um, what's the Ace of Swords in reverse? I feel like there's there's just uh, confusion. There's miscommunication with you and somebody. There's misinformation. A lot of shit being left out or unsaid here. I feel like there's a lot of unspoken words. What's the Two of Wands with the Ace of Swords in reverse? There's a lot to be said here. Okay, yeah, Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody here needs to tell you the truth about why they were in and out. Okay, what was going on with them at the time? Yeah, you know, for some of you, somebody had this person hexed. Okay, I'm just going to say it. There's a lot of magic going on within Twin Flame Connections. I I know it. Yeah, by somebody that's bitter, that's jealous, that's envious. I feel like somebody's just nasty, but this person could have been really in sexual energy with you. Yeah, if somebody is trying to return to this person, they're, they're turning that shit down. They don't give a fuck what somebody has to say. I feel like somebody's setting themselves free. I feel like I feel like somebody's setting themselves free too from a lot of inner turmoil, a lot of like feeling ashamed or regret or um feeling not good enough or just a lot of inner healing going on too with this person. Or or this is you, right? I feel like uh what's this ace of swords in reverse about specifically spirit? This is Ace. Judgment again. Yeah, Eight of Wands. There's communication coming fast. The Emperor, the Sun, the damn Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody here wants to invest in you. This person is just not. I feel like the only thing that's going on here is this person is scared of you guys arguing. They don't want to argue with you. And I also feel like um something is miss. I feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions here. It's a lot of like confusion. All right, that I feel like somebody here is trying to figure out how to expose to you. But I feel like um, there's about to be some action being taken here. This person is about to come towards you with something. They're getting ready to say something to you. I feel like I feel like for some of you guys, there's a miss. It's, it's something here that you're confused about that you don't have all the answers to. You don't have all the information. Something is not finished with y'all. And you don't have all the answers. You just don't. This person is going to have to come to you and expose it. Because I feel like you're trying to figure out things on your own. It's not working for you, is it? It's not. This person could be trying to tell you, too, that they left you on the cold for, for finances. They, they didn't have any money at the time. They were broke. They weren't ready or something like that. But it, I feel like it's worth hearing. Okay, really, really hear this person out. All right, really... Um, Really, if this person there, there could be somebody that's uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh I feel like before things get good with y'all, there's gonna be a tough conversation that needs to be had, though. There is gonna be some conflict between you and this person because I still feel like you feel some type of way about them. All right, but I feel like too with this with this person, this is okay. So we have the emperor upright and the empress in reverse right here. So this person was with a false twin, a false divine counterpart. And um, this is this person trying to walk away from this. And they're arguing. Somebody's arguing. This person is choosing their happiness. That's what that is. With the sun, the seven of pentacles, and the emperor. Somebody is choosing their happiness. They didn't already look back so many times. They see what something is. There's no reason. I mean, if you know better, you do better. So why would they even be going back at this point? Somebody has gotten the uh, initiated in the spiritual realm. So ain't no point in going back to something that's going to lead you down the path of misery. So this person is taking action and standing in their power. They're freeing themselves from the bullshit and coming towards you. Somebody that they miss, that they feel and regret about. They miss, they regret doing something. I feel like that needs to be talked about, right? Yeah, and they're coming to do it. This person, they're coming. All right, let's see for Sag. Get some angel answers. For this spray here for Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is success. Yeah, who had that? And then we have yes. Yes, something is going to be worked out. Yes, opportunity, compromise. Say something. Say yes to the opportunity. Be comp compromised. Show empathy. Show compassion, okay? I know y'all probably don't care about that, but I'm just saying. Those of you that do, this is for you. No, choose a new direction. Yeah, this person could be confused. You know, it's this other person confusing this person right now. You know, what else for Sag? And I feel like, you know, what else for Sagittarius? Communicate clearly. Yeah, communication is coming through. Yep, abundance. 
Yeah. So you're on the right path. Your person is. If they turn this hole down, they're doing the right thing. <laughs> they're doing the right thing here. Because enough is enough. Like, why keep repeating the same pattern if you've already, like, somebody has already passed the test? Why? I feel like they're just being tested right now. Are you really going to go back to the loser ass hope that you got kids with? Or are you going to move towards somebody new and somebody that you're in sync with that you ain't even really give a chance to because of this bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like, really be real. So, what's success here for Sagittarius? Bottom of the deck, we have Libra energy, sword and scales. Yeah, that's like the Ace of Swords upright. So it says truth, justice, due process. Yeah, you know, something here failed with something that they were doing. And that's because they weren't on the right path. But it says by the book, yeah, appeal, balance, make amends, law, integrity. Yeah, cut to the chase. Yeah, somebody's going to cut to the chase. Ain't no fucking beating around the bush. Somebody's going to tell you the truth. Okay, something about their childhood wounds, their trauma. Okay, somebody misses you with the six here. You could be dealing with the Pisces. What's success? Some of you guys are getting a victory in a court situation. What's success with the sword and scales? Gemini energy, we have convertible. Some of y'all could be getting a nice new car, okay? But we have uh, many options, free will, adjacent possibilities. Yeah, choices, flexible, adaptable, potential, change, freedom, enjoyment. Two-faced, going with the wind, alternatives, preferences. Yeah, now somebody got options. They can choose whatever the fuck they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Now that they've been set free from something, or this is you. What's, what else for success? <laughs> yeah, look, we have old car and then we have a convertible. Some of you guys are getting a new car. All right, you, you're, yeah, you're getting rid of something else for something new. Okay, something better. But yeah, well, just like this situation, same shit. Something old, rusty and dusty for something new, beautiful and just lovely. <laughs> okay, like, so we have Pisces energy here. It says weary, tired, exhaustion. Yeah, somebody's tired of dealing with past old shit. It's just, it's time for something new, something better, something refined, something just... That's going to fuel you and make you feel good. It's time to be happy. You know, somebody has has done whatever they needed to do to go through this cycle. Now it's time for a new one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, family patterns. That shit is just tiresome. The bottom of the deck is Aquarius Energy Airplane. So some of you guys could be traveling or moving. Yeah, breaking free, freedom, leave it behind, internal guidance systems. Yeah, spirit is guiding this person towards you or you're being guided somewhere. Flip it, switch it. But let's communicate clearly. Somebody could be coming to see you if you live far. Okay, or you could be going to get, uh, get somebody. I don't know. So we have yes. The answer is yes. So if you're wondering if you should reach out to somebody, yes, yeah. Cancer energy with heart and home, happy home, security, love, kindness, family, belonging. Yeah, somebody, this is so sweet. I'm, that's so nice. <laughs> somebody here is like, you're where the, you're, <coughs> excuse me, you're where <coughs> home is to somebody. Both of y'all know that shit though. That's what's crazy, right? Y'all both know that says the answer is yes. The situation or event is right on track at this time. Let's communicate clearly with the yes card. <clears throat> yeah, so this person can be trying to figure out if they should say something. The answer is yes. Okay, we have Aquarius energy, fish hook, powerless, feeling hopeless. Yeah, it's time to surrender. This is why this person, they cannot hold back anymore. <clears throat> yeah, vulnerable. Yeah. <clears throat> they feel trapped. They feel trapped. Okay, they're trying to figure out if this is a trap. No, 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 no. What you were in was a trap. That was the real trap. That was some bullshit. This is not it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This person is... They feel vulnerable. That's what it is. Let's communicate clearly. Okay, then we have, yeah, Scorpio, empty nest. Moving on, no one home. Cycle completion, emptiness, final endings, beginnings. Yeah, the void, something. This person <clears throat> has ended something completely with someone or with something in their life. 
And I feel like they've been trying to fill a void without you. I feel like you're the key and they know that. Y'all, this is a really, this is a true love situation. It, it so is like, <laughs> it really is. This is like some real deep love. Y'all have been through it, right? In separation, somebody here says making adjustments, lonely, new life, graduating. Yeah, you graduated. There's something here that left somebody's life that needed to be left. Definitely that. It could be internal and external to them. Yeah. So there's communication coming through because both of y'all asses are feeling vulnerable. You could say you're not, but you are. You are. You feel vulnerable. You feel like just, I don't know, this person, oh, I'm getting chills too. They, there's an energy of you guys missing one another. They come in though with the judgments. <laughs> The Queen of Cups, the Judgment, and the Eight of Wands. Somebody's going to express their feelings to you. Yeah. This is so nice. Anyways, <laughs> this was your reading, Sagittarius. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.